Hello guys, good morning, good morning po sa inyong lahat guys And this is Buhay sa Dubai Live I'm Juni Franco Sersano So magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat Sa lahat po ng mga viewers natin Special request po yung topic na pag-uusapan natin this morning Dahil napakarami po mga kababayan natin Who are inquiring us here in MPQ Tourism About yung pag exit po sa Armenia So actually they are asking guys kung bakit nga ba we are highly recommending yung uh, Armenia exit compared to Oman. Kaya sa lahat po ng mga viewers natin, especially to those who are about to exit in Armenia or are planning to exit, ito guys yung mga options nyo why me personally, eh, nire-recommend ko po ang pag-exit sa Armenia. Okay? This is as of this time kasi nga po there are some issues sa Oman border. Okay, I am not saying that exiting in Oman is not okay. Okay? Ibig sabihin po, okay pa rin siya. There are still our kababayans na nag exit po dyan. Uh, yun nga lang, there are times sometimes that na the, the border sa Oman is sometimes puno siya. Ibig sabihin, yung quota nila for the number of exiters going out of UAE, going to Oman, is kumaga puno na po yung kota nila. So, the, the the bad news is, wala kang choice but to go back to Dubai and wait for the next day schedule. Yun yung disadvantage. Kaya nga po, we're always recommending and suggesting to everyone, if you are planning guys, let's say, normally kasi bakit ka mag exit sa Oman? Dahil, may different, kung, kung there's a little difference when it comes to budget talaga, kapag sa Armenia ka mag exit Okay, pero, uh, tawag nito, avoid nyo lang na mag-exit on your last day. Okay, klaruhin po natin yan. Hello muna kay Hinigrasha Patricio. Hi Kuya Juni, God bless. See you soon. Hello, see you soon din. And of course, hello to our 14 live viewers this morning. Okay guys, so let's go back again to yung, problem, yung issue po with Oman exit. So yun nga po that make sure... Okay, na wag na wag po kayo mag-exit in your last day because of this situation na nangyayari ngayon. Na maaring you are scheduled today, then exit ka pagdating doon, biglang hindi nakaalis yung bus nyo or hindi pinalusot yung bus nyo sa, sa border dyan sa Oman. So, ang mangyayari, babalik kayo sa Dubai. Okay? And i -re reschedule and you will be prioritized for the next day uh, trip nila papuntang Oman again. So, If yan ang last day nyo na, it means overstay ka na. And especially guys ha, to those who are from visit visa or tourist visa, mas maganda po na sundin nyo yung pinapayo ko to exit at least a week before your visa expired. Para at least you still have allowance. Hindi man matuloy yan, bumalik man kayo sa Dubai, you are still okay. Na okay lang kahit tomorrow na lang kasi nga, um, hindi pa naman ako expired. Kasi po, for the tourist visa or visit visa holders, if you guys eh, if you guys ay eh, is going to parang mag-overstay na, remember, the first day penalty of your overstay is 300 dirhams. Okay? On your first day. And on your succeeding days, it will be 100 dirhams siya guys per day. So for example, 5 days kang overstay from a tourist visa or visit visa, that's 300, and then 100, 100, 100. So 400 plus 300, miss accountant, magkano? 700 dirhams. So imagine guys, for just 5 days, eh, 700 dirhams yung babayaran mo. Sayang po yung pera, di ba? Kasi magagamit mo pa sana yan dun sa... Pagdating mo sa Oman, pangkain mo doon, pang allowance mo doon. Hello kay Mark, Paolo, Girona, Ansag, Kuya Juni, nag-live na din. Ito na ata yung hinihintay kong topic. Okay, so yun guys ang reason why I am saying that if you only have guys a little budget na may dadagdag doon sa original plan mo of exiting to, Army, to Oman, better guys switch your plan to Armenia exit na lang. Okay, so ano nga ba yung mga benefit or advantage of us guys na nag-exit po sa Armenia? Number one, especially right now, winter pa po doon. So most Filipinos, even actually non-exiters ha, talagang sa Armenia sila pumupunta to experience winter. Kasi as you can see, sa mga friends nyo na nanggaling doon, ang kapal pa rin doon ng snow. 
Okay, nakakapag uh, nakakapag enjoy pa rin sila sa mga iba't ibang mga tourist attraction ng Armenia na talagang grabe yung snow doon. So so ibig sabihin nag-exit ka pero hindi ka ganoon ka super stressful. At the same time, you will experience winter season talaga. As in my snow season. Yung tipong ganoon. Hello to Mar Vega Litawa who's watching us this morning. Hello Mar, good morning. Sana makasama kita in one of my episode sa Corrute Radio. Di ba? Pwede ko ba kayo makasama mag-asawa? Pero hindi ko alam paano kayo schedule. <laughs> Kasi nga, yung my show is from 10pm onwards. Kaya medyo ano siya ng konti. Alanganin. Okay guys, so let's continue nyo. So another reason it's because uh, like sa amin po, from MPQ Tourism, we prioritize na binibigyan namin airline talaga is via Fly Dubai. The reason for that is sa Fly Dubai po kasi, your travel is just around 3 hours and 15 minutes or minsan 20 minutes lang. Nandong ka na. Okay? So, ito guys, I will give you the complete information if you are traveling or going to exit or visa chains in Armenia. Number one guys, ang kakailangan niyo po is of course, ito yung ticket going to Armenia and going back to Dubai. And para naman po sa mga non-tourists natin, Okay, of course, it's it's a required, guys, na talaga yung final destination mo should be going home in the Philippines. Dito rin, guys, tandaan nyo po, if you're going to travel anywhere in the world, basta you're not a residence or residence visa holder of any country, ang laging final destination nyo po lagi talaga, Pilipinas, kasi taga-Pilipinas tayo. For example, if you are from Hong Kong and then you wanted to go to uh, Macau, hindi po pwede ang ticket mo is pabalik ka rin ng, ng Hong Kong. Kasi hindi ka naman residence, visa holder ng, ng Hong Kong. So, from Hong, from Hong Kong to Macau, then Philippines lagi yung final destination. So, sana po malina po yan sa lahat. Ha. This is for those who has no work, yung mga wala pang residence visa dito sa UAE, kailangan guys, ang final ticket nyo dapat is going home with the Philippines. Okay, and ang kakailangan nyo po, let's say if Punta po kasi sa Terminal 2 po kasi ang Fly Dubai. So, pagpunta nyo po sa Terminal 2, ang unang pupuntahan nyo kagad is yung boarding area nila. So, go to a, to a counter ng Fly Dubai. And these are the items that you need to submit. Number one, of course, is your ticket. Yung nga, yung complete ticket mo ha. Talaga yung complete ticket mo from uh, from Dubai going to Armenia, back to to Dubai and going straight to Philippines. Okay, so kailang kompletong ticket mo yan. Second is also your passport. Ito lang po yung mga kailangan yung item or mga documents sa kailangan yung i-present. Diyan po sa boarding area. Hindi nyo kailangan ibigay lahat. Hindi mo kailangan hotel reservation. Hindi mo kailangan ng cancellation. Okay, again, the complete ticket na meron kayo and then of course your passport. And make sure guys that your passport, since you're traveling not in the Philippines, kailangan po 6 months valid siya. If not, hindi ka nila paalisin. Hindi ka nila papapuntahin sa ibang country that your passport is below 6 months in validity. That's right. Okay? And then guys, after po nyan, is papasok na po kayo sa loob and then ang makakaharap nyo na po is yung immigration checking. So sa immigration checking, ang kailangan nyo pong ipasa doon is of course your passport, your ticket, kasi di ba from boarding area, bibigyan na kayo ng actual ticket na mismo ng airline. So your ticket airline, your airline ticket pala, your passport, and your previous na tourist visa. Or if you are from cancellation, of course, kailangan nandyan yung cancellation letter mo. Kasi itong documents na to, eh, tinitingnan po ito ng immigration officers. If you are like, may mga obligations ka pa within UAE bago ka umalis. So for example, if you are overstay, eh, you need to pay for the penalty. Okay? If not naman, E then direct, tatatakan ka lang nila, then you are free to go. Okay, wala pong masyadong sobrang interview dyan. And to those without pass, okay, explain ko po, ito po yung mga, mga may mga outpass po ng mga kababayan natin. Ibig sabihin, super tagal na talaga nilang overstay. Minsan, nagre-request sila ng outpass sa, sa immigration. So, bring that outpass and submit that along with the rest of the documents doon sa immigration officers. Okay, especially to those yung mga nag-undergo sa mga nagpakaso. Ayun. 
Di ba, kunyari, hindi ka sinasahuran ng amo mo, hanggang nag, nagka-labor kayo, tapos nagkaroon ng kaso, and then finally nasettle na lahat, and then mag exit ka. So if you're going to exit or travel to Armenia, kailangan mo din i-present yung outpass na yan. Okay, para i-clear, yung outpass kasi na yan is a clearance na kung ano man yung mga dumi, okay, sa record mo na maaring baka nag-overstay ka na, o baka, kung baka lumampas ka na dun sa sa contract day, contract uh, expiration mo dahil may ongoing na, na hearing kaya parang nag-overstay ka so i-clear yun ng immigration officer so kapag natatakan ka na normally po yung exit stamp nyo is sinisend po yan sa travel agent na kausap mo okay? para po ma-process ang visa nyo going back to Dubai so pag nagpipiksyon naman po kayo guys Huwag naman yung pinaka-log, pinaka-tatak lang mismo ang pipicturan nyo. Picturan nyo yung the whole page of your passport. Mas maganda nga yung buong passport talaga eh. Hawak mo sa picture mo siyang ganon. And then send it to your agent. Kasi po, the reason for that is parang you're giving a signal to your agent na na-encode na yung exit mo. Ibig sabihin, you're already out of UAE. Kaya pag prinasis nila yan, malinis yung record mo na wala ka na dito, so they can, they can process the visa. Kasi po minsan, may mga cause of delays na nagsubmit ng, ng travel agent mo ng iyong visa processing, pero sa system po ng immigration, hindi ka pa nakapag-exit. Parang still in the country. So yun yung problema. Kaya nga, kapag nagkaroon ng ganong record, o ng ganong findings, ang gagawin lang ng agent mo is i-send yung exit stamp mo. Showing or yung prueba mo na talaga nakapag-exit ka na, that you are already out of UAE. Okay, and then, when you reach na po yung departure area, so doon lang kayo, maghihintay kayo ng flight nyo. Okay, so, ang kagandahan naman sa Terminal 2, napakaraming mga restaurants dyan. Uh, madalas ako sa Costa, kasi nga, coffee drinker ako. So, may mga restaurants naman doon, may KFC doon, may McDonald's doon. So, Especially if you're traveling with a group, mas masaya. Diba? And then, since hindi naman ganun kalaki kasi talaga ang Terminal 2, so, kapag dumating na yung time of your flight, magbo-boarding na kayo, normally po, sinasakay kayo sa bus. May bus dyan na maghahatid sa inyo dun sa, sa aeroplano mismo. So, pagdating nyo dun sa aeroplano, ayun na. So, in just 3 hours and 15 minutes or 20 minutes, eh, nasa Armenia na po kayo. Okay, when you reach Armenia, hello muna kay Eds Dolyarte, so, Juni, ayos lang ba na mag-travel even if last December ko lang nakuha ang passport ko? Kasi nawala ang passport ko last November, kaya lang, kaya nagpagawa ako ng bago. Yes, ibig sabihin nun, uh, Eds, ang pinag-uusapan natin kanina is 6 months validity. So, kung bago yan, it means walang problema. For example, ngayon is March na. Kunyari, ang expiration of your visa, ayun for your passport, I mean is, Let's say June or July or August, this coming August, 5 months na lang yung validity. So, hindi na siya more than 6 months. So, ibig sabihin, you're not allowed to travel anywhere except going home in the Philippines. Okay? So, sana po malinaw yan. And also, hello kay Juanmi Toledo. Toledo, Sulito. Hi, Jo. And, sabi naman ni Juan, pugosa, uwi na po ako ng Pinas this month kasi hindi po i-canceled ng amo ko dito. Gusto ko kasi nila ako bumalik. Okay, so wala po tayong magagawa. So, kasi we have to follow our boss talaga. If they will not allow you to come to Dubai, after your employment, talagang uuwi ka talaga sa Pilipinas. Okay guys, so now let's move on na po sa, sa scenario natin. No? So now, finally, nakababa na yung aeroplano nyo sa Armenia. Pagdating nyo po sa Armenia, Ang, babag, kumbaga, ang bababaan nyo po right away is yung immigration area nila. So kami, we provide in advance yung, yung uh, Armenian visa form. Kasi guys, all Filipinos traveling to Armenia is visa upon arrival tayo. Kaya if ever man may ibang mga fly attendant or doon sa boarding area pa lang from Dubai na hinahanapan ka ng visa, I tell them guys that Filipinos are visa on arrival sa Armenia. So, hindi nila hahanapin yon. Okay? So, yun nga guys. Pagdating mo na po sa immigration area, ayun na po. Ang gagawin nyo po doon is kailangan nyo i-fill out yung form ng kanilang Armenian visa nila. 
And nakalagay doon yung isang form na may nakalagay na photo, but hindi po required yung picture na ilagay doon. Okay? And then, ang payment po kasi guys na ina-accept lang ng immigration sa Armenia is their local money. Okay? And then, within the immigration area po kasi ng Armenia Airport, dyan sa Yerevan Airport, is a US pound euro. Yun lang po yung mga currencies na tinatanggap nila. Unfortunately, their hams is hindi tinatanggap doon sa immigration area na money exchange. So since kailangan mo magpapalit ng pera mo into local money, kailangan mo nung tatlong currency na yon. So ay, kaya nga, I always recommend na at least bring dollars. Okay, kapag pupunta ka ng Armenia. And ang cost po kasi ng Armenian visa guys in local money is 3,000 dirhams. Dirhams po ang local money doon. Ang tawag po sa currency nila is dirhams. Hindi po dirhams ha, or drums. Yun, hindi ko alam yung tamang pronunciation. But I think drums or dirhams. Pero parang dirhams eh. Okay, so in conversion, that's around 25 dirhams. Or in dollars, that's around 7 dollars po. So hindi siya ganun kamahal. Okay, so pag na-fill outan nyo na yung form, pipila na po kayo dun sa immigration officer. Then submit the Armenian visa form along with your passport para tatakan nila yan. And then your, your payment of 3,000 local money nila. So kapag natataka na yon, lalabas na kayo ng Armenia Airport. Guys, don't worry. Hindi po ganun kalaki ang Armenia Airport. Paglabas nyo po doon, yung partner hostel namin na, na best hostel, nandun na kagad. Isang, isang tingin mo lang ganun, nandun na lahat yung mga tao nag-aantay. So makikita mo kagad that our representative from MPQ na susundo sa inyo is nandun na siya. May hawak siyang papel na MPQ. And then your name is in the list. If in case man na wala sa list mo for as long as galing ka sa amin, i-accommodate ka pa rin nila. Okay? And sabi ni Marites, Subdan, di ko naumpisahan kasi. Sabi niya, ano pong meron dito? Hi Marites, ayun, nasa title po ng video natin yung topic na pinag-uusapan natin. Okay, so yun guys, kapag nandun na po kayo sa ano, sa nasundo na po kayo, ang gagawin nyo lang is ihahatid po nila kayo sa, air, sa hostel. Alright? And Best Hostel, guys, has two branches. They have the, the old branch nila, which is ang tawag po nila doon is Best Hostel Yerevan. And the new branch is Best Hostel Republic Square, which is located po in the middle of the city talaga. Nasa, nasa city center. Kaya sa Republic Square. So, we have some special arrangement with them na yung mga rooms po nila doon, is affordable and it's really perfect for visa chains or exiters. Kasi nga, ang cost po ng kanilang hostel doon is just 25 dirhams para doon sa kanilang old branch or 35 dirhams para doon sa pinaka-city per day po yon with free breakfast na from 9am until 11am. So, it, it is very more affordable compared to Oman. It's because sa Oman exit po is the hotel is 50 dirhams per day wala, pa, wala pong breakfast na kasama yon. Okay? And then, of course, there, aantahin nyo po yung visa na pinaprocess namin. And we're saying it is just 2 to 3 working days lang. Uh, 2 to 3 working days lang po ang processing ng visa. So as soon as lumabas na po yung visa nyo, we will send it to your email. And we will also send it to the hotel or to the hostel para po mapaprint nyo. And then you can go back sa Dubai as per your return date na nakaindikit po sa ticket nyo. Okay? And, yun po, so, while nasa army, nasa hostel po kayo namin, doon sa best hostel po kayo, is hindi pa kayo magbabayad on a daily basis. Ang payment po ng lahat is during your last day pa. Pag last day mo na doon mo, isisettle lahat ng mga babayarin mo, and then, pwede ka nang bumalik sa Dubai. Okay, so sabi po ni Kuya Laris Guerra, na dumating na po kanina pa, na nagluluto siya ng, anong niluluto mo? Hot dog, kasi kanina ang hot dog na ginawa ko sunog. <laughs> Ayan, pakibati naman. Hello po sa taga Pasibi East. Orbis Tundo, Pangasinan from Larry Isguera. Sino pa? Sa, bakit sa Tundo? Orbis Tundo, Pangasinan niya. Ah, Pangasinan. Okay. And hello guys sa lahat po ng mga viewers. Hello kay Densho. Thank you sir sa information. And... Ano yung work in Dubai? Anong work? Pwede po dyan? At pwede ba ako punta dyan? I'm from Oman. Uh, Marites, ayun, medyo out of the topic. But anyway, uh, normally kasi, pwede ka mag-apply online. You can check out 
dobizzle.com. Ayan, kasi diba yan yung pinakasikat kasi talaga na website para sa mga job hunters. Kapag natapatan mo na may there are some companies na nag-hire kahit outside UAE, eh maaari ka nilang kontakin at makapunta ka dito. Pero if you have some relatives na nandito, pwede ka mag- mag-tourist, pwede ka mag-visit dito. Okay, so I think that's all for this morning, guys. If anything that I missed out po about sa pag-exit po sa Armenia or visa change, okay, let's let's talk about visa change naman. Ang visa change kasi, guys, normally is like this. Ibig sabihin, you came here in Dubai as tourist visa or visit visa, then luckily nakahanap ka ng work, and then your company is na provide ka na nila ng employment visa. So kasi for you to to have yung visa change in your passport na kasi pumasok as tourist so kailangan papasok ka as employment kasi nga po as per law you are not allowed to work under tourist visa so kaya kailangan mo ng visa change so actually guys dalawa yung options there are some other companies na hindi na pinapa-exit yung staff, staff na hinire nila parang internal na lang nagbabayad na lang sila ng penalty pero some others naman na hindi talaga ginagawa yan you need to exit So, ang ginagawa is, pwedeng punta ka sa Armenia and then balik ka the next day. Pwedeng ganun. Okay, or, mayroon pang offer na A2A. Ang A2A service po talaga is designed to those who have employment visa. Kasi nga, for example, like like ako, nag-employment visa ako. So, na A2A. Ang ginawa ko from, from, from Dubai, lumipad ako sa Bahrain, and then, just after one hour, balik ulit ako sa Dubai, and then, presenting na may employment visa. So yun yung tipong A, yun talaga ang tamang A to A dapat eh. <laughs> Di ba? Medyo risky na yung ilan na yung na, nagtuturis visa din. Oo, kasi yun, uh, recommended lang po. Ako personally, I just recommending yung A to A na tourist visa ulit. If you are from tourist guys, from cancellation, medyo risky ng konti. Kasi baka, kasi may labor clearance, may mga ganito pa. And that might cost, you know, a, a, a cost ng delay. So, maaaring lumagpas ka ng 24 hours sa airport waiting for your tourist visa. But then, hindi ko po sinasabing lagi. But then, it is safe. Na if you are from cancellation, mas magandang mag-exit ka na lang talaga sa Armenia. Okay, so for visa change going to Armenia, ito naman, isang case po kasi ng visa change is, the company is going to send you your employment visa. Parang ipaprocess nila. Need mo lang mag-exit kasi nga, pa-expire na yung tourist visa mo. So, fly to Armenia through the help of MPQ Tourism. And then kapag nandun ka, antay mo na yung ipapadala sa'yo ng kumpanya mo ang iyong employment visa. Okay, the advantage of you waiting for your employment visa in Armenia is because nga, mas mura po doon ang hotel rate. Diba? 50 dirhams per day kasi sa Oman without breakfast. While sa Armenia, it's just 25 or 35 dirhams per, per day with breakfast na yon. And plus, get a chance to enjoy yung winter season. Parang kang nasa Europe. Okay, and then as soon as lumabas na yung iyong employment visa, let us know, and then i-arrange namin ang return ticket mo going back to Dubai. So, na yan po ang ginagawa ng MPQ to support our kababayans na lalo na yung nakahanap na sila ng mga work. Okay guys, again, sa lahat po ng mga kababayan natin na nangangailangan po ng any visa assistance, don't forget guys to call MPQ Tourism at 0434417334 for Satwa Branch. And also, Uh, to our Board Dubai branch, 0435584888. Or you can always, guys, send message to our Facebook page, MTK Tourism. Or check out, guys, other, our other services in our website, www.mptqtourism.com. Or you can WhatsApp, WhatsApp me, guys, for some personal inquiries. Yung contact number ko po is nakadeclare po sa aking Facebook page. Ayan, nakikita niyo po on the left side. Yan, pwede nyo po ako i-PM din sa aking Facebook. Wala pong problema. Okay, sabi po ni Alvin Karamuan, kung baga sir, exit na ako sa Saudi, direct na ako dyan sa Dubai by sponsor po lang ng friend ko kahit hindi relative. Yes guys, if you're traveling not from the Philippines, hindi mo kailangan ng relative para mag- mag-travel. Kahit friend lang, okay lang siya. Walang problema. Okay, and uh, yun lang I guess. Alright, I think that's all for this morning guys. Thank you so much for watching Buhay sa Dubai Live. I'm Johnny Franco Sersano. So, abangan niyo po guys, no, this coming Friday, Money Talks, kita-kita po tayo dyan. And then tonight, uh, magla-live po ulit tayo via Kurutu Radio. That's a new program na meron po ako, yung Pinoy Expat. Okay? Bye guys! Good morning!